everyone, Pastor Dan here with devotions for us again from Seeking God's Face by Philip Reinders. And uh, today is the 31st day of Easter. And our invitation for this week comes from Psalm 126, verses 2 and 3. Our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongues with songs of joy. The Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. Take a few moments to just um, take in that invitation. Our Bible song today comes from Psalm 95 verses 1 to 7. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. And our Bible reading for today comes from 1 John 4, verses 7 to 16. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is made complete in us. This is how we know that we live in him and he in us. He has given us of his Spirit, and we have seen and testify that the Father has sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them, and they in God. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God <clears throat> is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God, and God in them. This is one of my favorite passages in the whole of scriptures, 1 John 4, verse 7 to 16. I, I love this passage. I, I love it because to me it is so um, defining for who God is God is love, but also who we are. And if you've listened to me before on numerous occasions, uh, you <clears throat> you perhaps remember me saying that it, that if God is love, and human beings are created in God's image, then surely we were created to love, to love God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength and to love our neighbor as ourselves, and to love and care for this creation that God has given us as well. And so, for me, this is, this is huge. And this is why, for me, one of the primary reasons why um, I praise God, I worship Him, I sing songs to Him, or uh, pray or honor him. I, I mean, he is worthy of that, even if I didn't like his character, which would be foolish, but um, he is worthy anyways. 
But for me, the fact that he is love, and not just any kind of love, but this radical, self-sacrificing love, um, that is beyond anything I could have hoped or imagined. Let's pray. Lord God, plunge me into your love so that I can love you with all that I am. I know I'm asking you for the very thing I'll give right back to you, but my heart feels small and shrunken. I struggle to love well or even love at all. Immerse me in your love so that my heart, soul, strength, and mind find their true home and I find the room in my heart to love my neighbor. Amen. Be, be, be blessed today. Keep yourself in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.